let's do two more. Uh, I have been dreading this one in particular. Don't use that tone. Assassinate Reza by pushing him into the printing press. Uh, that one involves getting a, a print crew disguise and allowing them to proceed to the school. And then Reza comes down, turn off the printing press, and he will come investigate it. And you push him into it. Um, I'm going to try to switch this one up from the norm a little bit. I'm going to try to make Reza not leave the room and have the machine on the entire time. So it does, won't have to involve knocking anybody out. In, or I'm gonna, there are going to be knockouts in the run, but I don't want to knock anybody in that room out because if you turn off the printing press and he comes downstairs and the other guys in the room will continue to turn it on. Just totally fuck this one up. <laughs> so I don't want to deal with those guys, so I'm going to try to circumvent that. Um, I'm only planning on doing two today, so let's throw this last Klaus kill in here. Also, Electrified. Assassinate Klaus by electrocuting him. Uh, simple enough. I had already explained this one in terms of setting this one up and then maybe getting taking care of a bunch of other ones, like the toilet one and um, the prisoner one, but I think I'm going to save those for next time. Because if Reza is still alive and then Klaus suddenly dies... Reza will turn around from whatever he's doing and he will go upstairs for whatever reason. Now, that's what he does. So if he does that, that'll just end up prolonging these two. Uh, anyway, in fact, it, if Reza is on his way to the, the toilet opportunity and Klaus dies, he will go upstairs and totally f forget about it. So I don't want to deal with that at all. Let's just take care of these. Um, enough talking. That is the plan. Let's get him set up. I'm going to bring the silver baller, although I don't think I'm actually shooting anything today. <laughs> Why not? Uh, let's bring the emetic syringe and let's bring breaching charges. Today I'm going to make the emetic syringe fly and catch it midair. I'm just kidding. <laughs> There's absolutely no reason to do that whatsoever, but it would be cool. Uh, let's smuggle coins to the lamp shop. And that is the setup. Here we go. The flying syringe. A flying small item like that would be totally stupid because you could just carry it anywhere. Welcome to but Mar let's get moving here. No waiting the cutscene today. I want to try to get this print disguised as quickly as possible. People hate the Swedes all of a sudden. They hate the Swedes because their production of Swedish meatballs and Swedish fish is not what it used to be. The Swedish chef is slacking. He is incompetent. That is why everybody hates the Swedes all of a sudden. I don't know what I'm talking about, man. Uh, print crew is back here. Um, let's get this guy moving by giving him a bump. Well, that'll interrupt his conversation and start him moving towards uh, this poster over here. Oh. But another thing I want to do is uh, turn this lady around by dropping a couple of coins right there. And that'll give me a chance to give him the old Polcarino. That's funny. I don't feel all that well, actually. Get your own coin. That coin is mine. Now, there is a spare coin right there. I had not a clue that that's been there. The map is... Uh, old by now, and I had no fucking idea. Here comes the print dude. Watch your shoes! Well, he did fly back toward me. He didn't fly back with as much force as I would have liked him to, but... Duh. Let's head back. Yeah, it was convenient. Come out anyway. One thing I realize about this opportunity is that just talking to the print crew guys moves them to the school. There's nothing else required to get them there after that. I had, again, I was dreading it because I thought I would have to follow them and trigger various things, but they are going to the school. So let's get into the consulate and set this Klaus kill up. I'm hoping to get ahead of this camera so that I don't have to stop for very long here to allow it to swing to the other side. 
There it goes. I'm going to use some different tricks to get through the garage today. I'm going to head to the left here and use a couple of coins to get past these guys on the way into the consulate and then another trick to get out, out or out of the consulate and afterwards. Check that out. Let's not take any chances. Those guys are busy checking out that coin. I'm going to drop another coin here. There's another coin situated at the car right here, which I'm going to pick up after this one. So I need a couple here to make this work. Looking into some noises. Let's slow down a little bit here. Shoot the camera. Get out the breaching charge. And I need a screwdriver for this Klaus kill, and there's conveniently one right here. I may pause to explain this trick for a second, but yeah, let's do that. Basically, these guys have a conversation that's triggered by your proximity to them. Going through this door will start this conversation. Um, there are various points that trigger it in front of them as well. <clears throat> so what I want to accomplish right here with this coin is I want to interrupt them from talking in the first place. So if I do that, then they will not have their conversation. They're, they're con Once they're done with their conversation, the, these guys start moving, and the, the guy on the right will start walking up the stairs, and pro I'll probably run into him on the way out. And this coin is to prevent all of that. This coin will prevent them from talking to begin with, begin with which then prevents these guys from starting to move. So they will have their conversation while I'm on the way out instead of on the way in. So that is the plan here. So a coin right here. Wait till it makes noise. Huh. And that Check will that keep them there for at least a little while. But, but that was what that was for. Let's get a surrogate disguise here. I need to set this electricity kill up and it might be difficult to do that quickly. So I'm just going to grab a cop disguise for a couple of seconds. Kanye Engstrom, please go to the reception desk. Hey, you seen Ramon? No? <laughs> Have you seen Ramon? <laughs> I saw Ramon. He's in there. <laughs> that one always cracks me up for whatever reason. I have no idea why, but... It just brings out the inner homosexual in me. <laughs> so, do we have an understanding? I'm not gay, I swear. Have you seen Ramon? All right, maybe I am. Let's wait for this guy to... <laughs> to turn his head. I have a feeling I may want to re-record this video. <laughs> I didn't mean I uh, have an inner homosexual in me. I just meant it just triggers me to start imitating them. <laughs> All right, back to the gameplay here. This is a different trick to get through the garage. This is 10 out of 10 commentary. Holy fuck. Wait a minute. <laughs> I totally lost my train of thought here, man. That was too funny. <laughs> Watch me fuck up this razor kill, and this is not the one that ends up going on YouTube. I'm not sure if I want this one on YouTube. <laughs> that shit was so funny, man. Have you seen Ramon? <laughs> hey, don't print anything you see here, right? I told you. Holy fuck. All right, now into the uh, printer opportunity. I should probably stop to explain this one, too. But basically what's going to happen here is I'm going to interrupt Reza's spiel here. And, um... <laughs> still thinking about that joke, man. I'm going to interrupt Reza's spiel here. And, um... I can't even concentrate, so I should probably do this video <laughs> over again, but... I'm going to interrupt Reza's spiel that will pretty much dismiss the entire room. There's a shit ton of guys in here. 
basically, the normal way to do this would be to allow Reza to leave the room, uh, go upstairs, wait for an opportunity to turn the printer off. He comes back downstairs, um, and to prevent the other printer guys from turning it back on, you would have to then knock them out and then get Reza into a situation where he turns on the printer himself. But I want to avoid all of that. Um, so I'm going to try to circumvent that by killing him before he leaves the room. So that is the plan here. Crystal Dawner on everyone's lips. That's, let's that's turn the printer on. Let's interrupt Reza. Okay. And that's another trick that's going to happen here that I probably want to take some time to explain. But let's keep Reza here. Basically, I'm going to drop the gun right here so that it gets the guard out of the room. Uh, what's going on here is that NPCs basically have priorities. Uh, right now, Reza is annoyed at me for bumping into him. Uh, so that will take priority over him noticing me drop the gun. So he will see the gun, but he will not notice me drop it, and this will not get spotted. Right now, he is annoyed at me for bumping him. So that is his priority. Okay, so the, here comes the guard to get rid of the gun. I'm going to try to keep Razor here. The red guy is going to come around for another part of his cycle. And then as soon as Red guy goes back to the other side of the machine, actually, he's going to go that way across the room, but should be able to keep Razor here and push him in. There we go. Everybody is none the wiser. Target down. Move on to Klaus Strandberg. Now it's just a matter of waiting for Klaus to die. Which I don't have the mission timer going right here, so. Hey, Mr. Printer. I would reckon it's somewhere about seven minutes into the mission, so we have still have a little while. Let's take the long way. Has anybody seen Ramon? Have you seen Ramon? <laughs> you do wedding invitations? No. No, but I've seen Ramon. What's Klaus doing? He is. Looks like he's just about there. Is still on his way back. Yeah, I'm going to take some time to look for Ramon. Has anybody seen Ramon? Has anybody seen Ramon? All right, he's leaning over. He's about to drop dead. There he goes. All right, that is that. Both accident kills, so I don't have to wait for anything here. How'd we do? There are both challenges. That was a cool route. I'm happy with that one. Silent Assassin, both accident kills. Nobody saw anything. <clears throat> that was a good one. Again, I had dreaded that one because I didn't know how to make the printer one interesting, but that was my attempt to make it interesting, killing Reza before he left the room and using a couple of AI tricks to accomplish it. But anyway... That's it for that one. Uh, that was a cool one to try to figure out. Uh, that's that. Thanks for watching. This is CJ and I'm out. See ya! Has anybody seen Ramon? Have you seen Ramon? <laughs>